It's a hammered shank, but if you see, it's a lot wider, yeah. so you always want to go up one size. They're made true to size, but when they're that wide, you want to go up a size. Okay, we're going to talk about pitcher, jasper, and yellow opal. Very, very beautiful. And you know, with these with these kind of neutrals, they're they're just I think they're just very beautiful and elegant and sophisticated, and and a nice a huge size. And there's so much silver in this too. I want people to understand that. Well, you look at the design. Okay, this. Yeah. Okay, so and also what we've done to add a little bling to it. I don't know if you could, you see if I move this. These are faceted. We, we went ahead and faceted these. Of course, you know, you've got these tans. We didn't have to do that, but it gave them a, a little extra bling factor to it. And this is what yeah. they call picture jasper. This comes from the United States. These, you know, anytime that we can support the, you know, the smaller miners, the American miners, we always try to do it. This is one of the materials. They call it picture jasper because if you, if you see it in the bigger slabs, there's actually pictures like there'll be like a mountain range, uh, there, there'll be trees, I mean, there are clouds. You know, you can see like one of them maybe looks like a dog. It's, <laughs> it's really incredible. And we cut it up to make it into jewelry. It's like that ink, <laughs> so, like ink blot test that they give you when you yeah, go to the therapist. The to, the yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to see what is this to you, you yeah, know? Right. Um, what do you see in the Jasper? <laughs> and then I've combined this with a honey opal mm -hmm. from Peru. Okay, and this is the, the honey opal from Peru. This is really limited, guys. I just got just a little bit of it. Um, I don't have a lot, you know, there's not a lot to go around. And it's the uh, yellow uh, uh, honey opal uh, from Peru. Um, last year, I was supposed to go, and my son and I were actually going to go, and we were going to uh, look for pink opal, go to the honey opal, and also the Peruvian chrysocolla. But unfortunately, I fell off my Harley in, uh, in uh, the French Alps and broke my leg, my ankle and my leg. And yes. so we were going to ride motorcycles. Uh, to all the different mines. We had this whole thing set up. We were going to film and we, he was all excited when I called him up and said, son, I, you know, I got a, I've got a cast up to my, uh, to my knee. And he says, so does this mean we're not going? Because <laughs> he knows you. That's you know, no, why he, he said, asked. You know, he just said, so come on, buck up. You know, you know, you can. Come on, be you a can, man. Yeah, it's only, you can, you still got the front brake. You'll be fine. Just so, don't have your leg dangle so, out. So, yeah, the reason I'm telling you that is one of the reasons I was going was to actually visit this property and try to buy more of the rough. And unfortunately, they didn't come this year to Tucson. I was kind of, I was kind of shocked. I, I don't know why they didn't. But uh, I'm hoping uh, sometime, t maybe toward the end of the year, maybe November, December, uh, I'll be able to make that trip and we'll be able to get more rough. All right. Well, I'm going to go to the phones and welcome Noel, who's calling from Austin, Texas. And I was just in Austin. Oh, and apparently Noel has a lot of your pieces. Hi, Noel. You're on live. Hi there. How you doing? Hey, I love your town. I love it. Me too. I'll Me tell you too. what, I, I would move to Austin. I, I bet most people don't realize how cool Austin I is. I love Austin. I've been it to Austin so music cool. festivals and the food's amazing. <laughs> it is it's really a so very cool. cool town. It, it would well, just shock you. Y'all could move there, but tell everybody else to stay where they're at. <laughs> the traffic is horrible. Well, the two of us I, are invited, but nobody else. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's become one of those hot places where everybody well, wants to move. You know, yeah. and I've been to Austin before, but I just flew my plane in and got and refueled or something like that. But it is amazing, the hill country mm -hmm. and uh, just the food, the culture, the people. Yep. But I will tell you that, yeah, the traffic at certain times, if you're down in the valley, was a little mm -hmm. bit intense. Yeah. Well, Jay, you ought to go up to Marble Falls. They have awesome marbles. Maybe they have other gems you can get up there. Marble it's not Falls. Far from here. Okay. It's about uh, 70 miles from Austin. Well, you know, it, my wife and I, uh, the reason we found Austin is we took our, our Class A motorhome, and we've done this since our second year, but we drove, uh, we drive out to the Tucson Gem Show. It's kind of like a working vacation, and we went yeah. through Boston, Austin, and that's the first time I've actually stayed there. Like, like I said before, I've just flown in, fueled my plane, and boogie-booed. Uh, that's when we actually got to drive. It was amazing. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. I won't name the steakhouse. I'm sure you. it's up on the hill. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. I want to just, no, I was thinking about living there. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, and, and, and Noel, you bought these heart earrings, the quartz uh, oh, cool. earrings? The, the necklace. I got the pendant, not the earrings. Yeah, oh, the pendant sold out. Yeah, the pendant sold out, so that's why we're showing the mm -hmm. earrings. Oh, Noel, see, you I've got never it on had, that. I've never had any rose quartz from you, but I, I think I have, I, I can't even count. I probably have 100 of your necklaces. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. You know, I really do. Because if it well, wasn't for you collecting, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here, right? Well, and we're born the same month, the same year. Really? 
Yeah, one time you were talking, I think it was last year, you were talking about your birthday. Yeah, I was born and, in September 1956. Oh, well, I'm January. Oh, so we're not the same month, but I'm <laughs> January 56. But, well, you know, I mean, it's a funny a year, year because, you know, everybody I've ever met that was born in our year are just cool people. Every <laughs> single person. Well, I'm not going to disagree with that. No, I, well, I'm not going to disagree. I'm outnumbered. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, Helen, I love you, too. You're so funny. I've never seen that funny side of you until you got on nights. Uh, you know? Well, I'll tell you the truth. They, they watch me like a hawk when I'm in the daylight. So oh. <laughs> now that now that no one, all, all my bosses are asleep, I'll be myself. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank you, Noel. Well, my husband used to say I wasn't funny. I'm a psychiatric nurse, now I'm running a hospice. And, um, you know, he used to say, you're not funny, but... All my friends think I'm hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> that, that, that is yeah. funny. No, yeah, well, thanks. Thank you so much for calling hey, thanks in. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you for shopping with me. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, everybody at home, the pitcher Jasper in yellow opal is down to the final hundred. So just to let you know.